two brothers, side by side, made their way into Nome. The Iditarod's top finishers came out to welcome Lance and Jason Mackey. He is a survivor and he made it to the finish line. He's had a lot of challenges along the way to get here and it's really special to see Lance here. His brother Jason here with him and uh, having a great run together as brothers. Jason came in first. Lance just behind him. It's been great the whole way, side by side. You know, he'll, he'll lead the way, and then I'll lead the way, he'll lead the way, I'll lead the way. We just worked together and got it done. There were hugs and tears from people happy to see Lance make it to the end. I've been crying all morning. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I wouldn't be here today if my brother didn't assist and change his whole race. Lance's health problems have taken their toll on this thousand mile trek. Two of his dogs also died along the trail. It's probably the hardest race I've ever had mentally. Very emotional for me, for many different reasons. Lots of different situations and things to deal with that uh, are more important to me, I guess, than winning. Many believe this could be Lance's final finish under the Burled Arch. It's his last one, there, bud. Unless they can come up with bionic hands. But the four-time Iditarod champion isn't so sure just yet. I have some things to do and think about, and I'm not going to say yes or no, but I love racing dogs, and I love the Iditarod, and I love the people who know me. Only time will tell if this really is Lance Mackey's last great race. In Nome, Heather Hinsey, KTVA 11 News.